Today, we are at one of our work parties. A bunch of people with clippers and spades and pitchforks will start tearing up blackberries. Piles and piles of blackberries. It just really does take a village to make this come true and uh, the history, there's just so much to tell. This property had been owned by the, the first executive chef at Canlis, Pam's dad, and her mom, Jenny. My mother was interned during uh, the Japanese internment period. My father was in the Pacific Theater in the Army. That's where he learned how to chef, how to cook. I was nine years old when we moved here from Leshai. The schools that we went to were basically all Caucasian, um, not integrated. My parents found this property out here. My dad loves gardening, my mother loves gardening. But due to redlining, they were unable to purchase it. And that's where my father's boss, Peter Canlis, helped out. He purchased this land and the house. And he said, I will do this as long as the the two neighbors agree that a non-white family moves into a very white shoreline. And of course they, uh, well I shouldn't say of course, well they, we were fortunate they did agree. So Peter bought the house and then he sold it to my parents. My dad and my mom just saw this as their haven, their sanctuary. Fruit trees and badminton courts and all sorts of wonderful things and lots of people and parties. The vegetables were so bountiful, my dad would just give it away and my mom would preserve. There were no fences between any of the property. All the kids could just come here and play, just open, open house. And then when my parents got old and uh, moved out, it was sold to a developer who let it sit for 10 years. It was neglected and derelict. It seemed like since the garden had been neglected, it was kind of obvious that it would make a great community garden. I wrote a letter, an op-ed for the Shoreline Area News, and there was just this groundswell of remembering and, and respect and fondness for the Ching family and what they had, what they had done. I think my dad would um, love, and my mom also, to see the the new ideas, the transformation, having young people come in and community, that, that's really, I think they would be extremely happy.